Hello and welcome to my channel. Go ahead, hit the like, hit the share, subscribe if you haven't already. It's very interesting watching people react to a lot of these trending stories that people may get triggered by. Now granted, if you don't know the individuals involved, it may be easy to be swayed with public and popular opinions that you hear about the topic. But that doesn't change the double standards and hypocrisy that I've laid out on my channel when it comes to the issue that we have in society. Now clearly there is a group of women out here that feel like if men can do it, we can do it. Never mind the mere facts that women and men should be under a different code of conduct. But when we see the clout chasing antics these people are willing to put on these platforms in order to make it in the industry, it to be no surprise why they're constantly influencing the younger generations to follow these stupid ass trends that lead them on a path to nowhere. Now, it's obvious why these women have been empowered to rap about everything about their personal business on these songs. Nowadays, female rappers only talk about their pussy and shit. And now that Jermaine Dupri bring it up, now I'm going to say something about it, right? First of all, I rap about pussy because she's my best friend, you know what I'm saying? And second of all, it's because it seems like that's what people want to hear. I am going to front because let me tell you something. When I did be careful, people was talking mad shit in the beginning. Like, what the fuck is this? This is not what I expected. I expected this. I expected that. So it's like, if that's what people ain't trying to hear, then all right, then I'm going to start rapping about my pussy again. And second of all, there's a lot of female rappers that be rapping their ass off and don't be talking about their pussy and don't be talking about, you know, getting down and dirty. And y'all don't be supporting them. Y'all don't be supporting them, and they be mad dope. These bloggers don't support them. They don't give them the recognition. So don't blame that shit on us when y'all not the one that's supporting them. Now, clearly, the point I'm going to make in this video is the same exact point I made when WAP was so trending across all these platforms, and all these younger girls wanted to follow in the lead wanted to have their hot girl summers and get flued out all at the expense of their integrity. Now you gonna have to excuse me, but I refuse to believe that women who can be so vulgar and do anything for clout can be so passive when it comes to speaking their minds. Fuck with a girl right now, la la. Like you know I'm saying. Shut the fuck up, nigga. What the fuck you say? So you fucking bitches? You fucking bitches, say, nigga? Say Call that bitch right now for I blow say, your shit, nigga. Say, I say. bust your. Now, if you do a quick little search about who Sukiana is, it should be very obvious another point I'm going to make when I turned against this so-called Me Too movement, considering if these women want to go out here half naked, getting flued out, do all this strange stuff for a little bit of change, that's their business. But when you come around and want to play this victim and all these people want to give their opinions about something, depending on how they feel about the character and 
involved, it should be very obvious the very point I've made and how women need to be just as vocal about standing their ground. Now, the same woman can make entertainment about checking niggas, as she says, but we're supposed to believe she couldn't have slapped the dog shit out of this little boy who so-called violated her, spurring all of this controversy about her being sr when she never made it vocal that she wanted to do something and or if she did, she could have filed a report and left it at that. Don't you think in this era it would have set more precedence to stand up and show this man, regardless of what image I put out, you're going to fucking respect me, period. But instead, look what we saw and look at how convenient some of these other people in the industry want to skip around misogyny and justify common sense. Nobody should be putting their hands on nobody. They taught you that in kindergarten. Yet is it right to keep allowing these stages to be set for women to be put in the position of power to press charges against somebody depending on how they feel versus what's right and what's wrong? Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a nice day. Everybody else we got to walk on eggshells for. We can't offend this one. We can't offend that one. We can't offend this one. Man, fuck that. I said what the fuck I said. Period. <laughs>